Tengane, Susal, <laughs> Mjita was a mambo zan, Waysal, <laughs> Sure, Bati, DJ Nakas, DJ Nakas, Sure, That calf is cool, That calf is cool, That calf is cool. Hold up, stop right there. Stop right there. If you're an MC out there, let me tell you something. That's how you intro a song, my G. That's how you intro a song. My man was even on timing with his with the with the with the with the hats, the way the hats were running, and he was on top of that saying like VJ Nakas. VJ Na it's simple little nuances like that that draws people into a song, man. Big ups. The first review I'm doing is by an artist called VJ Nakasa, man. The song's called Kafir Cool. Welcome to the first podcast review by your boy Jay Bucks, man. You know, upon recording this, there was no name for the for the for the podcast, so there won't be no flashing lights or you know bells and whistles right now. But yeah, we're gonna get there, man. So this is my first attempt at doing a podcast review with your boy Jay Bucks live from True Side Studios. Let's get into this, man. VJ Nakasa Kafir Cool. Make like judo, so back when I'm in a place like you know, uh, I run shows. He got the tickets for proof. Nike's Nike. Uh, yeah, so the first thing that stood out to me, uh, because usually what happens with me is like I listen to music and I just kind of scroll into the song. You know, I do the same with movies, do the same with books that I read. I read it from the back and then I go to the front, go to the, you know, it's just a weird thing that I do. But anyway, the first line that stood out was actually as I was editing this, it falls exactly on that. So I guess I need to say it, man. Most MCs, like a lot of MCs, get the judo reference wrong. And for me, it was very cool that uh, Vijay Nakasa got the, the judo reference right. Um, he says in the line, uh, uh, yeah, what does he say? Um, make like judo throwback, you know? Now, let me just mention this, man. <laughs> this is an interesting thing. Like, I always got annoyed with, uh, I think, Talib on the redefinition song, Talib Kweli. He says kick you to obscurity like judo and then i think it also was um pro kid pro kid said um how did pro kid say he says two yeah two foot you like judo I was like no guys but there's no kicking in judo you know our, our martial arts aficionados will will tell you that you know what i'm saying there's no kicking in judo yeah showboat with the right quotes but what i'm trying to say with mentioning the whole judo line is the fact that my man's is always his attention to detail is just immaculate and i i like I like an MC like that. I like an MC that can explain every line lucidly, but it's it's not simple. It's not just straightforward. You know what I'm saying? So big ups to you for, you know, applying yourself like that to the writing game. And I think we need that, you know. Um, calls his style boom slang. And the way he described it to me was that it's a style where he's influenced being mostly boom bap, you know, from a writing perspective. And I guess, yeah, maybe even sound, but he incorporates boom bap with uh slang you know everyday slang the people around him you know south african nuances and little phrases and whatnot and i i think that's kind of cool man i think that that it it, it it makes for for nice balanced listening man so you can see you still get that raw hip-hop sort of you know style of doing things similes metaphors but yet the references are home-based <laughs> With the cooler, flow better, cool the uh, come a suit like you by the change position. I'm the new numero uno up in the uno with you know who, like, there's no room now. <laughs> I'm the numero uno in the uno with you know who. And if I'm in that uno, there's no space, definitely. But first line there, he says, uh, meditate like Buddha, you know. And that's also testimony of that boom slang coming through if you can pick up on that line. So when you're listening to this cat stuff, I, I please don't sleep. Don't fall asleep for one second. You're going to miss out on a lot of lines, man. It's just layered like a mother. So don't sleep for one second, man, while you're listening to it. We rest in a peaceful tomb. But I'm too sleep to stay woke. But no. they just drown us out completely with the bass at the end of the song man but my man still rides the beat like a pro and yeah so sonically i also like what's happening there there's a lot of transitions it's not just 
straightforward like loops happening you know what i mean there's a lot of interplay you know with with different things happening it's got a very trippy trap sort of influence you know what i mean and he rides on that very nice as well so his the sense of timing is also something that I, i i can commend you know um so yeah not for one second even sonically not for one second do i get bored of this joint you know what i'm saying you can and it's one of those songs you can just play in the background without it like without you cringing and feeling like ah shit something in the background is annoying me no man it's not one of those man brilliant song love it I also appreciate the way the 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 engineering was done. I think my man Bears was on that and he has a whole team of people really working with him um on on making sure that even from a you know from the sonic the engineering perspective everything is dope. So big ups to my man's uh VJ Nakasa on this one. If I could give it a a rating, I would give this one a definite 5, man. 5 stars, 5 jugs of water, 5 five ngudus i don't know man <laughs> look for it i'll leave a link in the description and you can check it out on www.theblacksmith it's off the wayside album we're going to get to the wayside and the importance of this album which i also think is 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 something very significant to our little eastern cape scene so soon to blow like how i got shot up the charts all i got shot one for you one for my black pe matter well in painted lifestyle